This is a quick video uh, about some of the basics for writing for piano uh, in the MIDI editor uh, using Reaper. So I'm going to add a track here. Uh, I'm going to go into FX. I'm going to load up uh, Labs, Spitfire Labs, and I'm going to choose an instrument that I've now installed, which uh, I recommend to you, uh, the glass piano here it is i'm going to choose the glass grand there are a lot of other cool sounds in here you can audition them so those uh could be very interesting for you right now i just want the glass grand uh, this is philip glass's piano i'll put some reverb on it um and let's uh make ourselves a midi item actually before i do that uh, let me name my track Glass Grand, and I'm going to use my shortcut to color the track. Um, if you want to know how I just did that so quickly, go back and look at my uh, video number six about the action list. Um, now I'm going to create a MIDI item here. Um, I'm going to double click, open up the piano editor. And the first thing I want to uh, show you is I'm going to put in some notes. I've set my grid to quarter note. Um, I'm going to write some notes uh, from whole tone one. If you don't know what that is, uh, go watch my video on the whole tone scale. So just quarter notes, C sharp. Um, let's have a B. Let's have a G, uh, D sharp. And then maybe we'll have like a little cluster of notes up here. Just extend that along, and let's see what we've got. Okay, so really, um, and let me make sure that this is uh, all in the picture here. Um, there are two things I want to talk about writing for piano. The first thing um, is that uh, piano, like drums and like everything we've done so far in these videos, uh, dynamics are controlled by velocity. Right, because you can't get louder after you hit it. So if I want to um, have, say, a crescendo here, I'm going to select right click, select everything. I'm going to hold command, and I'm going to sort of ramp up my dynamic so we have something like this. Now with command unselected, maybe I'm going to bring everything down a little bit so it's not so loud. And so that works nicely. The other really important thing that I want to show you right now um, is one of the things that makes piano writing uh, sound realistic and a tool that you definitely need in your disposal if you're going to write for piano is the ability to uh, use the pedal. And the pedal is actually the first instance in these videos where I'm going to uh, introduce the idea of a continuous controller, which is usually abbreviated CC. Um, CC, uh, you can think of continuous controllers as like lanes of data um, that exist between MIDI instruments and computers or between MIDI instruments and each other. Um, and various kinds of information uh, are transmitted on these continuous controller lanes of data. And when we go down to the velocity lane here and click, we see we've got velocity, and then after that, there are these things that start having numbers, right? So mo one, mod wheel, um, that's a kind of traditional uh, setting. One is usually mapped to the mod wheel on a, on a keyboard, on a physical keyboard. Um, seven is very often mapped to volume, 11 is mapped to expression, and these are things we'll cover in later videos. I'm actually going to jump all the way down right now to CC64, which is the hold pedal. And the hold pedal um, is the sustain pedal. That's not the sustenuto, by the way. That's a different thing. We're going to choose CC64. And now you see I have sort of this blank field and the way the MIDI sustain pedal or hold pedal works is it's either on or off but it can be set to a value anywhere between 0 and 127 so um, right now it's at 0 or it's just not on at all and 
And if I draw, if I click once with my, my pencil, or double click actually, I'm gonna create a line here. You notice that does nothing because uh, this is really an on-off switch. So I need to be above halfway and the, the scale is from zero. So this is zero. This top is 127, right? And anything above the halfway point, which is basically 64, is going to get me the pedal on. So let's hear that. And if I want to obviously turn the pedal off here, what I'm gonna do is just click in this area here, right? And then I'm gonna pull this down. And we've got something like this. Right, and I don't have to go all the way down. Even there, I think the pedal's off. Anything below halfway. So uh, you can write in your own uh, pedal marking. If you hit Command, you can sort of add these marks on the grid line. If you turn the magnet off, you can uh, be a lot more precise. Uh, so those are different ways to deal with writing in pedal markings and writing for piano. And I'll see you in the next video.